and welcome back to the channel and an update on our brand new Audi 8Y RS3. Now this car was bought as a development car for Eventuri for the intake and the turbo inlet and that development is now done. We did have an 8V RS3 and I was never really impressed with the way the car drove. It was very fast in a straight line, especially 0-60s and quarter miles. And I have heard from quite a few sources that this 8Y is very different proposition to the 8V and it's actually exciting to drive. I'm keen to find out, so let's jump into the car and see what it's about. So the launch procedure for the Audi RS3 is very easy and it's the same as it was in the 8V. You just turn the traction fully off, um, you depress the brake and then let go of the accelerator. So I can do a little launch here. I can confirm it's very quick. So, Audi quote this car as doing 0 to 60 miles an hour in 3.5 seconds, which is absolutely ridiculous for what you would class as a hot hatch. And I believe that is the fastest time you can get in any hot hatch. Its nearest rival will probably be the A45 AMG. So it's quicker than that. But what I'm really interested in finding out is whether this car is just more than its acceleration times. Because with the 8V, I felt that it was very good at hitting quarter miles and launches and being fast in a straight line, but it didn't really offer anything in terms of driver excitement. This car is completely standard at the moment. It's riding really well over these B roads. And it really comes alive when you start playing around with the settings. It has a lot of adjustment that you can give the car in terms of its driving modes. So you can stay with Audi's prefixed driving modes, or if you go into RS individual, you can actually adjust every facet of the driving experience from the sound, the engine response, the steering response, the torque split, and the dampers so I've set this car up in RS individual I've left the dampers on the softest setting and then basically put everything else in the most sportier settings and the car really does come alive when I first picked it up and it was just in its normal mode I was a bit disappointed because it just felt really dead and as soon as I spent some time with it and played around with the settings to get it to where I wanted it to be, it's a completely different car. I'm actually taken aback at how <laughs> unlike an Audi it is. I'm a BMW fanboy, everybody knows that. I'm not the biggest fan of Audis, but they've done a really good job on this. Obviously you can hear the sounds coming through the speakers. That's probably not the same from outside. But that sound actually changes with the different modes and with these modern cars, with the emissions system they put in place with the OPFs and CATs, the external sound has been muted. As much as I detest fake sounds, it kind of adds a bit more character. So this road is quite bumpy but not as bad as the other test route that we normally use. So I'm going to head over there and see how it performs on that stretch of road. So this is probably one of the worst roads around us, but it's a really good test of how a car rides, and it actually does a pretty decent job. So if you watched the video of our RS3 8V, um, we did switch that over to MSS suspension. It improved the ride a lot. But this one, the ride is actually very good. So I think the challenge with any aftermarket suspension um, is going to be to get the lowering aesthetic, but not change the way Audi have set this car up to, to ride. I think manufacturers, um, especially like Audi and BMW, have got a lot better at making the car rides smoother on UK roads uh, before I just found they were set up very stiffly and for UK B roads that's just not 
suitable. Obviously on, on a German road that's probably smoother than this, it's not much of a problem, but UK road's quite challenging. The conditions today are actually very much suited to this car with the amount of grip it has. It's quite damp and a little bit greasy and it just puts the power down so well and does it in a way that it disguises its um, front wheel drive bias quite a lot which I'm actually surprised about. I was expecting it to feel like the 8B have a lot of understeer but they've done a fantastic job of making this car feel lively and exciting. But as I mentioned before, it really does need you to spend a bit of time with it, learn the car, learn which settings work for you. But from the two days I've actually been driving it around on these roads, getting to know the car, I've been very, very impressed. Look at that, <laughs> it just holds <laughs> and shoots out of the corners. I think that's enough for today. I'm gonna head back to the workshop and we can sum up my experience with the brand new Audi RS3 8Y. To sum this car up, I've been really surprised with it. It looks good, it handles really well, it's got bags of grip, it's very fast, and the interior is a huge upgrade from the previous version. Now, before driving this car, I would have said that the best hot hatch in the premium market is the A45 S AMG, but I'm changing my mind now. I think it's this car. The only thing this lacks on over the A45 AMG is the interior, but for the excitement of drive that this gives, I'd take this over the A45. Now, if you need a car that can do it all in lots of different weather conditions, I don't think you can go far wrong with this. And as a BMW fanboy, I'm absolutely shocked at how good this is to drive. It doesn't have the amount of understeer. I'm used to it in normal Audis. They've done a huge job in actually hiding that and making it feel very tractable and exciting at the same time on UK roads. Now the weather conditions today and over the last couple of days have been perfect for this car. And my barometer when it comes to how I feel about a car is we have a wide range of cars here and I would say to myself, am I gonna actually pick up the keys to that car and go for a drive in it for enjoyment? And the answer with this car is yes, the 8V, that was never the case. That was only a car to go out and do quarter miles in. So, bravo Audi, you've done an absolutely fantastic job. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please remember to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you wanna join the conversation, please drop a comment below and we'll try our best to respond to you. If you wanna watch more of this project, you can do so over here. If you want to watch what YouTube thinks you might like from our other content, you can do so over here.